morning folks uh, today doing some trimming work around our yard uh, I'm going to show you how to weed eat weed whack trim whatever you want to call it tall grass now some of this is above waist high and down low if you can see over here it's really thick so uh, I'm going to give you some techniques on how to weed eat that with a string trimmer. First tip, off deep woods or whatever, tick spray, outdoor spray, use it. Ticks are bad I hear this year. I haven't had any on me yet, but we want to keep that preventive. Next, so this is what I'll be using. It's a Shindawa T235. It's not a commercial trimmer. It's a pretty good, it's definitely a name brand, and it's not the smallest of homeowner trimmers. This thing has been through hell and back for me, and uh, I really like it. I use it. I've used it so much, it's like an extension of my body, which is something, if you're going to be doing a lot of trimming, that's what you want. Make sure you pick a trimmer that's comfortable for you. Uh, as you can see, no guard. I took my guard off uh, two years ago, three years ago, something like that. Uh, I've always used a guard, and I was trimming some really thick grass. I guess stuff was about chest high and really thick, big blade grass. Uh, and I just got tired of it getting tangled every two, three feet. So I popped the guard off, and it cut down tremendously on... tangles so there's that next thing string you want good string uh, I, I had an echo when this was broken and in the shop it broke a shaft a few years back and it was out of commission for two weeks so I had to buy a uh, echo at Home Depot it came with red string their, their echo brand red string that was all right. I'd probably buy it again, honestly. It, it was good. I also, at the time, bought, I didn't, couldn't find my stuff. And I was out of string. I bought their black diamond or whatever they call it, razor uh, string trimmer on. And sad to say, it, it, I didn't like it. It seemed to bog my trimmer down quite a bit. I don't know what it was. It made a lot more wind noise and it seemed like it was a drag on the machine itself. This is what I use. I've always used the heavy duty yellow stuff, Rhino Tough from Home Depot. That's what I've been using forever. Uh, I've been cutting grass since I was eight years old. I'm 25 now. Uh, and I've been using the yellow line for as long as I can remember. So. Techniques. Hey, you can do it with whatever. You want a gas trimmer for doing this stuff. There's no doubt about it. The electric trimmers just ain't gonna cut it. So you can try it, but you're gonna be there forever. Techniques. I like the no guard, as I said, but if it's really tall, you can run it full throttle and start dropping your head down into the grass. I'll show you that with it running. But other than that, just mow it down really good. You want it, this is a wide area. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. Look, tall grass in a wide area. I mean, I could, I've cut this with a tractor before. Not this particularly, but tall grass. It'll do it. String trimmer is oddly relaxing for some reason for me. I really like running it. But, uh, all I usually do is full throttle, low to the ground, sweeping actions, and if it gets really thick, you just pick it up and drop it down as you're going through it and then finish it off. It's quite simple. You'll get a hang of it. 
especially if you do a lot of trimming like I do and especially if you do a lot of overgrown stuff like I do sadly but uh, yeah let's get to it I almost forgot before you want to be doing hard strenuous stuff like this a before you do anything you should always let your two-stroke engines warm up this is two-stroke <clears throat> so start it let it warm up before you're getting into this thick heavy stuff run it full throttle park throttle a little bit just to warm it up some more uh, maybe do some lighter trimming first this is already warmed up so we're just going to get right into it Stay crazy and have a good one, people. 